Hey everybody, it's Mr. Night Spider here, and you're watching the Night Spider Collector. Here we have Marvel's Angel, uh, later to become Archangel. There's some side graphics for you. I think it's the both of them. Yep, same on each side. And then we have the back, and there's a quick read-up. If you want to read, feel free to read. You can pause it. Now let's crack this bad boy open. I, I can't wait to open this one. This one was on my wish list for a while. Shout out to the wifey for hooking it up for Father's Day. But that's how long it takes to get time to do these videos for me. But anyway, let's open them up. Alrighty, let's get this party started. Look at that. No X in background. No X back here. Are you kidding me? It's always an X. Okay, and there we have the figure. We got some hands, just three hands. <clears throat> so the figure itself. I'm not sure what mold this would be considered. I really don't care. Looks good. The white here, the tone's a little off between the where the the shin rotation is, or calf rotation, and the paint on the actual unit, but that's okay. The paint on the inner thigh looks good. Looks fairly clean through here. Even the shoulders are clean, and usually that's where they botch up the most. You can see a little difference there. That's the peg hole for the wings. And then we have the fist. We'll swap the head. <coughs> Actually, let's look at the head first. I'm probably going to go with this one first and foremost. This is just like straightforward. No, no games. Not joking around. Oh, it's pinless. This may be my first pinless figure I have opened since a lot of the big changes. Now let's try the other head. Pow. Gotta be honest, not feeling this one as much. And the actual... The way the mask sets is different on here too. Take a look. Different um, mask entirely as far as like see how that 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 part goes down to his nose and he has these pointy side pieces there Yeah, this is gonna be my go-to <clears throat> Let's get it back on there But double jointed oh that is nice That is nice I see it kicks that kicks fairly far too. All right Cool. <clears throat> Let's get the wings on this bad boy. Actually, I'm lay him down because I know I'm going to get stuff over. So this came in a little separate blister pack. <clears throat> Very cool. Now, I watched some videos about this um, before I had mine, and they're saying how there is some gapage here because you have to fold it. There has to be some engineering behind it, but they were talking about how it overextends. It doesn't overextend. It actually stops you from pulley, fully pulling it and seeing all the the gaps. Huh. <clears throat> all right. Let's get these bad boys on. Okay, that's one in. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Alright, let's turn that. Let's get another one in there. I think we're good. Wow. Now let's bring it in. A 
let's get them standing. <clears throat> That might be a challenge in itself. <clears throat> yeah, it is a challenge to get him standing. That is true. But damn, the figure looks cool. Make sure it's in all the way. Man. Like, this is so cool looking. Look at that. This is definitely worth the wait. <laughs> How can I? Let's see. If I, maybe if I bring it forward like that. Make it look like he's a little aggressive. That might help him. Yeah, the way that can help him stand. <clears throat> oh, this is sick. Sorry, I'm having fun. I'm just having fun now. But wow. That is an impressive figure. Definitely worth, uh, I think it's around... $40 at the time, but I'm sure it's going for more now, but wow, let's back up a little bit so you can see that wingspan. That is cool. I wonder how wide that is. Is that what does the measuring tape? Hold on, let me check. All right, guys. Okay, got me a, a measuring tape. Let's see. Yeah, that's about 15 inches, like from tip to tip. That's, that's impressive. Just, yeah, if you guys can see it there. It's about 15 inches. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Now, I'm going to make, I'm going to try and see if I could do some, a really cool pose. Be right back. It took a little bit of effort, but I think I have a really cool pull, pose going on. The trick is going to be how I get him on the shelf with the rest of the X-Men. This is going to be a challenge, but this is a really sick figure. I'm so glad I finally opened it. If you can still get it, Amazon, maybe a local toy shop. I, I'm fortunate enough to have a local uh, mom pop toy shop around here. Um, I recommend picking them up if you can. This is such a cool figure. I give it a. This is I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's perfect, uh, but I, I would say it's at least a nine out of ten. <clears throat> the only thing that bothers me is this part right here in the forearm. It looks like it swivels which would have been really cool if the forearm did swivel, but it doesn't. <clears throat> and the hands seem kind of big for the for the body, for the proportion. The hands seem kind of big, and this accessory, this face, is goofy. So those are the only things that I have an issue with. The rest of the thing is, is top-notch, so definitely worth getting. But this is Nice Bright Collector signing out. Thank you for watching. Please uh, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a good one. Peace.